Hey, Stephen, how you doing? Okay, so uh, you got your 15 sketches and your written rationale. And let's jump, uh, let's start with the written rationale. Like, really great job. This is fantastic stuff here. I mean, you're just really, really defining your thought patterns and your your concept development to a very high degree. And, and that's great. I mean, that's what we're looking for as a creative director. This is what I'm looking for in my studio. I need designers that not only can design, that's only a small part of design. I need communicators. I need designers that can communicate their conce uh, their conceptual development, communicate their intent and communi in communicate their intent in the communication established through their design and and just good overall visual presentation. And and I think I speak for a, a vast majority of hiring professionals and creative directors, art directors, when I when I say that these are, are really really important attributes for a, d a designer to be able to, uh, let me put it to you like this: a, a designer who can't express themselves verbally or in 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 writing, um, to me is is not a superior designer. I mean, you can have design chops like no other and if you're not able to communicate your ideas verbally and there, there's an issue and this is all basic communication right so the more expeditiously we can communicate our ideas and in this particular case our concept development i think the more effective of uh the more effective we are in design in general so this is i was really pleased to read this great job let's jump over here the only thing i really would have liked to have seen Stephen, is i'd like to see these labeled um, so in other words, what words did you use to derive these? Now, the great thing here is that the ideas are just churning. And yes, once again, I would like to ask you permission to use this. Just shoot me any quick email in response and let me know. Um, but I, I would like to use these for an example of excellence um, in the concept development sketch stage of the monogram portion of the assignment. So um, these are re really really good i mean there's only no there's only 10 of them well 15 of them but you've got just a you I, I can see the wheels turning here i can really see each idea the the ideas are are based on good solid uh, concept and the creativity seems to springboard and, and really there's no two ideas here that are exactly the same they're all significantly different which means that you're 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 willing to give your client a a nice variety and you understand the importance of variety in in uh in development so th these are fantastic and i think it's also interesting that you've chosen the m for some of them and and gone ahead and add the p m p for others so really fantastic stuff i know you've got these three these are all good i think these are good i think this is great i think this one just really has a a, a really neat feel um, it's an M, right? But this could be indicated as a tail, also as the horns and the legs. So, I mean, I think this is really interesting. And I'm not telling you at all, please. I, I, I do not want to direct you in the, in in a, a, a particular, um, following up a, a particular idea. I want you to make that decision yourself. But I'm just saying that these are, these are really, really done well. Um, yeah, I mean, you've got a great handle on this project. You have since day one. So, I'm going to go ahead and say, just go right ahead and, and select your best, um, what, what you think is, is the most uh, efficient way to move forward, and, and please do so. All right, this is fantastic. This is really good stuff. All right, great job. Questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. Thanks, man.